Even he who is pure of heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the moon is full and bright. <laughs> Morning, my lovelies. It's the 3rd of October. And that poem from the Wolfman films has inspired my outfit. So I thought I'd just show you. I've got errands to go and run. And today is, to be honest, going to be bonkers. Actually, the whole week is going to be bonkers. But my outfit today, so I'm wearing my vintage tassel beret in the full moon colourway. There's a kit and actually hand hand knitted ones by moi. Black coat, this is the night sky, this is the moon. These are the sort of the, the rays of the moon. This is a wool scarf that my lovely friend Hula Hannah gave me. And I have to show you my shoes because they're fab just before I go. And here are my shoes. They're Clark's leather brogues with these cutaway bits. Absolutely fabulous, a little bit dirty. Got these in Snoopers Paradise in Brighton for £10 and I love them. I thought I'd just show you my dinner. It's noodles, peas, Romanesco, cauliflower and I always use all the leaves and everything so I've just chopped those up. So I've got a nice like chow mein, veggie chow mein for my lunch today. And uh, yeah, should fortify me for all the things I still need to do. It's Tuesday early afternoon, 13 minutes past 12 to be precise. Yesterday just completely got away from me because um, just it's a bit bonkers at the moment. I'm just spinning lots of plates and it's all very exciting. Got lots of filming done and then ran out of thread and then my washing machine broke and then I had to sort that out which I didn't really sort out so I didn't have much of interest to share with you but today I am up in my sewing room and I'm in the process of filming the Marlena Berre sew along so I've sent all the last bits off to Charlotte to be to be um, put into the PDF pattern and um, the only thing that I do have to do Fringe, is uh, take photographs of the beret and I did take photographs of this one the Morticia version but they don't really show up so well on um, on camera and normally I do an illustration I draw but I just thought for this one we'll do a photo and I just have myself to photograph really or Edith Head this is Edith Head here Edith head here um I don't know how exciting she looks um but anyway so I've got to do that but I'm actually going to finish the green beret because um I think that will be really nice and I'm doing the doing the inside in my favorite liberty print which is the honeymoon one so I've got to toot on and do that and then this evening I teach at the college on audible uh, Stephen Fry's got two series. One is um, Edwardian Secrets, Stephen Fry's Edwardian Secrets, and I'm now listening to Stephen Fry's Victorian Secrets, which is um, a little bit macabre and bizarre and weird. So very perfect for um, the opening days of October. Morning, it's Wednesday, the something of October. I'm in my sewing room and it's very blustery today, so you might hear a lot of um, noise. Yesterday I spent the entire day filming my um, beret sew along. And here's my beret. I just, I'm so pleased with it. I just wanted to show you that I've lined it in that um, Liberty print. It doesn't really go with this outfit. I'm gonna need to make another one. Good job there, quite quick. But yeah, so beret. So that's arriving, that's happening and basically everything's about the Marlena Beret now so I'm um I've basically got to edit that and also this vlog but I thought um while we're here I wanted to show you my current uh sewing project and I've got a bit of a conundrum that maybe you can help me with so I'm just gonna reposition 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 and um here so I'm working on this coat here uh, quite quite neo in the matrix 
and it is it's this one Borda uh, 6387 um, I'm not doing it with these pockets because they kind of make you look as if you're having a bit of a shuffle about inappropriately in that location maybe that's just me and um, so I've put um, I'm gonna have like a just side seam pockets obviously it's got sleeves and it's got this sort of big faux fur shawl collar and the faux fur cuffs and basically I didn't have enough of the the um, PVC that I got from Missy Mop Fabrics to do the full length sleeve so I'm gonna have the fur kind of a much deeper cuff and I had bought a waistcoat vest whatever you want to call it a sheepskin one from a charity shop for just a few pounds and I thought that would be great and it was sort of like a, a wolfy sort of grey brown sheepskin nice and fluffy but there's not enough of that to do this collar and these deeper cuffs so then I've got a an ivory sheepskin coat that's very dirty I made it when my like I think I made it when I was pregnant so it's like about 20 three years old and I never ever wear it now it's really tatty on the outside which is um, just like the the skin bit and then the fluffy is on the inside so I was wondering about cutting that up there's enough fabric to do that and it would look quite epic with the sort of ivory with this or I have um, also ivory a faux fur which I can't find so that's not very helpful and um, I'll see if I can find it and I'll come back. Hold on, hold on one minute. So I'm back, I found them and I think I've kind of answered my own question because here's the sheepskin coat and actually what I, I feel I need to do is, because uh, it's really dirty, is, um, get it sorry get it cleaned so uh and and actually sort out the, the because all the hooks are a bit broken it's actually it's a little bit um used to be quite used to be quite a bit looser but i just feel sort of um actually i probably would wear this a lot and i'm very fond of it so and it would be, it's tricky to sew. So I'm kind of creating a bit more of a, mm. but this is the, the faux fur. It's just not as thick as this, but, and also look, I don't know if you can see it. It's snowing faux fur, it's a absolute nightmare. But anyway, so it would sort of look like this. So, um, I've only got sort of pieces so again it would be piecing it together because I was originally doing a different coat and um, cut that all out so I've got quite big pieces I think I'll have to make it work but I think thank you for your input your guidance but I think this one is the one to go with and I'll just have to find somewhere that I can get this cleaned if you've got any cleaning tips for sort of sheep skinny things let me know um but yeah i've got loads to do uh for the pattern launch which is on friday but i think i'm just gonna spend like half an hour maybe an hour just sewing this coat getting a bit further forward with it because uh, i'd really like to be wearing this and um yeah. if i've got enough fabric i might have to do a faux fur beret <gasps> slightly messy hair uh i just thought i'd show you tell you what i'm wearing today so i'm wearing my uh drape front t-shirt dress uh with um belt this is honestly this is like my tracksuit this is what i wear for that and a silk scarf that's got like red black pink in it um from a charity shop for about one pound fifty and then i'm wearing 
extreme close up, got very bad skin at the moment, but any who's. Uh, these really lovely earrings that For The Prize sent me um, as a, a sort of a Prezi, cheer me up Prezi after Loki. Um, little black cats and their little flower. He makes such beautiful jewellery and it goes so nicely with the dress. So that's what I'm wearing, just some tights and little ballet slippers as I'm just in the house getting on with, supposedly getting on with editing a sew along for the beret and all the other stuff I need to do for that. But really, I'm sewing my coat. I'm gonna sign off here for this vlog. I'll update you on coat progress. Uh, we could work on that together slightly. I'm off out in the blustery um, seaside weather to get some milk, etc. So not very exciting and I'm just editing for the rest of the day. So whatever you're doing and wherever you are, I hope you're keeping safe and well. And I shall see you very soon for more Vlogtober. Take care, my lovelies. Bye.